Hello. Please hit like button and subscribe my channel. Also press bell icon for future video notifications. Thanks. Editor's Choice in Cell Biology The paper Q. Jong et al. The memory of neuronal mitochondrial stress is inherited transgenerationally via elevated mitochondrial DNA levels. Nat Cell Bile, 23, 870-80, 2021. Under stress, mitochondria rapidly increase their copy number. That is, the number of mitochondrial genomes in each organelle. As part of a process called the Mitochondrial Unfolded Protein Response, or UPRMT. This process prompts the upregulation of certain stress response genes in the cell's nucleus. Now, a team has found that roundworms that experienced mitochondrial stress pass on a memory of that stress to their descendants by propagating the elevated copy number through the germline. Chinese Academy of Sciences geneticist Yi Tian and her colleagues had previously found that a signaling molecule called WNT is involved in the neuronal response to mitochondrial stress. Working with C. elegans, the team created transgenic worm lines that expressed the Huntington's disease causing protein Q40 in their neurons, which then started secreting WNT, initiating the UPRMT in not only the animals' brains, but their intestines too. Tian also noticed that some worms that had not experienced stress themselves, but whose ancestors had, continued to exhibit the stress response in the intestine, she says. Inherited stress. Exposing neurons of hermaphroditic C. elegans to high levels of either the Huntington's disease causing protein Q40 or the ligand WNT triggers a stress pathway. The mitochondrial unfolded protein response, UPRMT, in many of their cells, including their oocytes. Worms with this stress-primed phenotype had increased resistance to other stressors such as heat and pathogens, and lived longer, but they grew more slowly and were less fertile than controls. In the first generation, about 30% of the offspring, which were hermaphroditic, retained the activation of the UPRMT in their intestine, muscle cells, and oocytes. The researchers then chose the individuals with the strongest response and allowed them to self-fertilize until roughly 90% of the worms showed the high copy number and stress response phenotype, which was retained for more than 50 generations. You cannot have all the advantages, Tian says. In our case, their mitochondria are under stress, so they develop a little bit slower. They did a nice job of sorting this out. And it's as good as it gets in terms of methodology, says Cole Haynes, a cell biologist at the University of Massachusetts Chan Medical School who was not involved in. The findings are sort of remarkable. Dot. Neurons telling the germline to make more meto DNA that will affect the next generation is pretty wild. Quote. Please support my channel to grow by pressing subscribe button and the bell icon. We will notify you technological news. Thank you.